Sometimes players just can't be stopped, and it sure seemed like that for Laura Jones in an A&M uniform. I personally feel like Laura was probably the most dominant offensive player in program history. I mean, her records that she has, um, other teams would try to scout her, and she just could come at you so many different ways. She was three times an All-Big 12 selection and twice All-American. What drove her was that uniform she wore each time on the court. She had such pride in Texas A&M, um, and you could tell that by her play. Um, she was dominant, and she did it for the Texas A&M on the front. And I mean, she, she would always say that before games too. Come on guys, let's give them a show, or we're representing our school. When we were, you know, especially playing some, you know, California or something. Like, they don't know about us, let's show them what Texas A&M is all about. And she did, leading the Aggies to the NCAA tournament in all four of her years. She still holds the school record for kills in a match, season, and career. That's what Laura did. That she, she did that year in, year out. That's what she did. And now, 12 years later, for her to still hold those records, you're like, wow, that was a, a generational type of a player. And now she's honored for a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Fame inductee, Laura Jones Han Conti. I forgot that I was ever that in shape. <laughs> and about my facial expressions that made me look like an ape. Being forgetful is something I do quite well. So I've written this poem to help me excel at expressing my gratitude and to help me fill in some gaps. Let me start with the Letterman's Association and Assistant Athletic Director Kathy Capps. And to the Board of Directors and the Selection Committee, thank you for giving me the opportunity to perform this little ditty. I forgot about the first time I called myself an Aggie. It probably came off as a little bit braggy. During a home visit, Lori Corbelli sold me at Tradition. After that, every ATM machine I saw felt like a premonition. <laughs> when I verbally committed, it felt like a weight had been lifted. So I loaded up my truck, and off to College Station I drifted. Thank you, John and Lori, for recruiting me back then and for teaching me discipline every now and again. I forgot to go to class a couple times freshman year. I told myself I was just waiting for the weather to clear. It rained every day in 2002. <laughs> and with every inch, my coach's frustration grew until my advisors and mentors finally got a hold of me and introduced me to my new path, an agriculture degree. So, so thank you to Dr. Joe and Dr. Chris Townsend. You saved me from the academic storm I was floundering in. I forgot my shoes on the bus one time. We were in Austin where the rivalry was prime. The bus doors were locked and I thought the coach would wring my neck. But where was the bus driver? Taking a smoke break? What the heck? I got them out just before the match got started, before the, before the linesman made the worst call of all time and our team got yellow carded. So thanks to the team managers who bailed me out often and kept the Corbellies from putting me in a coffin, I forgot to set my alarm for morning weights every once in a while. When I woke up, I'd haul myself to the gym teleportation style. The girls would applaud when I bolted through the doors. Get ready for survivor challenge, I'd hear. Code for upper, upper and lower classmen wars. I put on 15 pounds, all muscle and brain weight. I looked like a Kardashian if one of them read books and grew past 4'8". <laughs> so thanks to my strength coach, Rachel Ellsworth, for making me strong. Although I could have done without that gasser test, that was just wrong. I forgot how embarrassed I was when my dad cheered loud. Eventually, he gained the attention of the crowd. As a parent these days, the sidelines is where I sit. And when my daughter isn't being aggressive, I lose my ever-loving spirit. <laughs> I only know now how invested he was. And when my kids do something awesome, I go nuts, just like he does. So thank you, Pop, for being my biggest fan, and to my mom, who stood right by that crazy man. I forgot how cool it was to read the news about our games, especially when the media mentioned some of our names. This was before Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, when our parents had to know exactly where to look. To see stats that were recorded by hand and transposed, the man hours that went in, nobody really knows. So thank you, Debbie Dara, for holding the interests of our fan base and for teaching us how to stand in front of a microphone with elegance and freaking grace. <laughs> I've 
I forgot about rare and special moments that happened during play. When the other team serve and the ball came our way, I'd lock eyes with my setter, and literally time stood still, and I knew right then I was getting the next kill. It's an odd phenomenon that doesn't feel the same spoken, but now I experience it with my own children right before something gets broken. <laughs> so thank you, Carrie Kelly, for those moments that still get me. Did I mention you look pretty? Next time we play again, please set me. <laughs> But I will never forget about the good times with my team, the hard work we put in pursuing the same dream, the little guys who were quick and never let a ball drop, the big beasts who stood tall and forced me to really, stop, really hop. They all deserve to stand here with me and take a collective bow, for I couldn't have done it without them, not then and certainly not now. And so, thank you to my best friends, Holly, who always wore the wrong color, and, and Kelly and Kelsey, life with you in Lakeway has never been fuller. Sarah Vick and Haley, you've been there since the early days. Your families have supported me in so many ways. And to the players and fans who couldn't be here, what was my motivation back then? Take a look in the mirror.